In today's video, we are going to be explaining to Pearl why she should eat the cupcake. Pearl is like a starving woman in the desert. She's walked for miles, days, months, years, alone, hungry, tired, and eventually she stumbles upon a group of women, goddesses in the desert, with their boobs out and their hair flowing in the wind, maybe even some shaved heads in the groups. So they offer her a cupcake. Eat this, Pearl. You'll live if you eat this. But she says, no, I cannot take a cupcake from a woman so progressive and modern as thee. And so she starves herself in the desert, rejecting the cupcake that would have given her another opportunity at success, but not monetary success necessarily. There is something to be said about knowing the self, the soul, the consciousness of your being. And Pearl obviously isn't having a great relationship with one. She doesn't seem to be incredibly religious. She doesn't seem to have connections to spirituality. She doesn't seem to think she has a soul. In some ways that would make sense. I think she's a ginger, is she not? In all seriousness, Pearl is a real person. And so am I. And I've made fun of Pearl in the past because when I see a bully bully, it makes me want to bully a bully. And I don't have a problem with that. We're both grown women. We both work very hard to have success. I have a different form of success than I think she does. I have an amazing audience that really believes in my work. I have a majority of women, though amazing men in my audience. I have a majority of individual thinking people. My audience, I could talk about how much I love you guys all day, but it's truly a collection of very individual thinking people who come together to bring ideas to the stage to dissect and decide, do we have the greatest thoughts? Do we have the greatest ideas? Are we attaining freedom, understanding of ourselves, a deeper understanding of the world? Pearl's community, bless them, tends to be a community that's just there to get their rocks off, to see and hear something that, yes, that validates me. Now I feel validated in my loneliness, my hatred for women, my hatred for myself. Fine, you do you. But I think it's clear to all of us watching, like Pearl is a sad, sad person. And if Pearl ever came to me as a caller, I would never tell a soul, Pearl, if you wanna become one of my callers, I will help you. I will help you. I am better than self-help. I am better than it. That should be my new tagline, better than self-help. Even better than self-help. I want to help people find and have a relationship with their joy and their consciousness. And right now, I'm not seeing it in this woman. This woman spends her career, her life, her energy doing the same thing I'm doing, but then talking shit on her own work. She says, don't be independent. Don't make your own money. Don't exercise your right to vote. She is so self-pitying, such a pick me, so, so sad that she doesn't even realize she's self-sabotaging. Or maybe she does and that's her form of masochism. Look, I'm a masochist too, but I usually like to utilize my pain for some sense of control and a deeper understanding of myself. Pearl seems to do it for funsies, but she looks so sad when she does it. So no, no, listen, listen, go, go apply to be on the oil rigs, go do, go be a plumber, go be electrician, go be on the front lines of the military, and then we should have equal rights. But until feminists are willing to do that, I don't believe we should have the freedom without the responsibility. Okay, well, I and I get it. If you need the validation from a gender known as man, you do you. But for those of us who have worked our asses off for all of our lives to become independent, to learn who we are, to be happy with who we are, to not need society to validate us, to not need the matrix to validate us, we see you and we wonder, could she be happy? If she just ate the cupcake, could she be happier than this? That's what I'm wondering about a Pearl, somebody like Pearl. Because look, even the conservatives I know, the devout Catholics that I know, the modest women I know who don't love my OnlyFans, who don't love my work, who are wishing I would be more modest, they want the right to vote. They want the right to work. They want the right to be stay-at-home moms. They want the right to be there for their husbands and children. So I know Pearl isn't representing a true conservative or traditional woman. Pearl isn't a traditional woman. So why would a modern woman like Pearl make a living demoralizing and demonizing her own lifestyle? What is that self-flagellation? I see it sometimes with minorities. I see it sometimes with blacks in the conservative movement. I see it sometimes with trans people in the conservative movement. There's like such a shame they have about being who they are that they're like, maybe if I was just more normal and normal is conservative, but is it? Is it? When you're having a relationship with yourself, it should be about you. And then as a community member, you can have a relationship with yourself and the community. But see how there's an and? There's a separation, much like church and state. Only in this situation, is there a separation between Pearl the person and Pearl the community member? Does Pearl not feel bad 
knowing she can't live up to her own standard. And listen, my standard's high. I don't think Pearl could live up to mine. But my standard is different than hers because it fulfills my joy, not hers. But I know for a fact, and I'm going to make my money right now by saying it, Pearl is not a joyful person. If she was a joyful person, she wouldn't be self-flagellating herself and never getting better. Pearl never gets better. So again, as a person who has connections on the internet, who knows a lot of these outrageous characters on the internet, you cannot leave the matrix to join a different one. Either be an independent, be the thing these past American men have fought for, be the individual that America claims they, it wants, or stay put in the matrix you've chosen, to use their language, right? Because I don't really believe in the concept of the matrix. I just think we all live in bubbles. Pearl doesn't want to be a part of the matrix. Pearl is the epitome of the matrix. She can't think for herself. She can't speak for herself. She's so self-sabotaging, she doesn't even know she's stabbing herself slowly in the chest. Or you could, crazy, eat the cupcake. If you find yourself in a situation where you are genuinely wondering, as a woman, what is my obligation to the world? Your obligation as a woman doesn't exist. It's your obligation as a human. And you have an obligation to be good to yourself first. And then you can work on being good to the world. Just like Jordan Peterson says, another person I don't agree with, clean your room first. Don't be like Pearl, who doesn't even know how to be kind to herself, right? So of course she can't show kindness to the rest of the world. Of course Pearl can't be kind to the world. She hasn't even learned how to be kind to herself. Do you know what I'm saying? It is so easy for me to be petty. It is so easy for me to get on here and tell Pearl, like, just show your boobs more. But ultimately... I want you to be happy, even if it's as a modest woman, even if you want to be traditional. There are ways to do that. There are religious and Catholic bubbles, Muslim bubbles that will welcome women who have slept around, who have done OnlyFans, back into their arms. If Pearl wants to be a traditional woman, there is a bubble for her. But I don't think that's what she needs. I think she's afraid of what she wants and what she needs because it's not what she thought it would be. And that happened to me when I went to therapy and I thought, oh, this is my joy. This is my joy. This is my joy. My joy looked so different than I thought it would. But I am so glad that I chose joy over what I thought I needed because what I thought I needed was wrong. There's only one real answer to what you need, but you have to live a good life looking for that answer in order to find it. Or maybe I'm off base and Pearl is this person or she is a grifter and she's doing what she's doing. But again, I want to give a little bit of compassion to everybody meaning to suffer with. And I have suffered enough as a woman to know that Pearl is suffering. And my head in real life while I'm dead My belly's being fed and I'm okay I'm just fine, yet all I do is whine Not to you in my mind, cause I know I don't make sense I've been nothing but blessed So why's my life a mess? Please tell me, cause I'm sick of thinking Yeah Sick of reaching out for the truth and living life as a fool.